What's up, guys? Let's see if there's some fish out there. I, I got a good feeling. The water looks pretty clear. Looks like, looks like some fish could be caught today. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? I've probably started at least 10 videos where I'm walking out to the fishing spot think, saying that today's gonna be the day, but I think today actually is gonna be the day. Today is the first day that I would say it looks like it's fishing. What's up, guys? Good morning. What's going on? What's up, everybody? Nothing really seems to be working today. Friday afternoon, it's high tide. What's up, guys? Morning. What's going on? Good afternoon. What's up? Okay, we're on. Check it out. Come on with the wave. Wave. Oh man. Stripe out. 28 inches. Woo! That's another one. No! Surf fishing. That's what we do. Yeah! Sweet. Oh, the curse is broken. Halibut. Okay, he's probably pretty close to keeper size, but maybe not quite. Yeah, he's a keeper. About 23. About 23 inches. Cool, man. It's good news. Yeah, keeper. Cool. We'll give him a, an official measure on the way back, but I know 22 is the tip of this Phoenix's beak to the end of my pole. And so he's about an inch longer than that. Sweet. He's pretty thick, actually. Ah. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna keep trying around this same spot for a bit here. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Pretty stoked. All right. Let's get rid of this guy's gills. Sorry there, buddy. Oh man, the drive paid off. The drive. Paid off. Sweet. Oh, no way.
Next cast. What do we got here? No way. Little wing cod. That's pretty sick. Nice. Well, let's get this guy back. This guy is definitely too short. Ah, watch out for those teeth. I can honestly say, first and only link cod I've ever caught from the shore. There's the shore, there's the fish. Cool, man. I think we found a good spot. I'm gonna keep trying right here. a calico? Yeah, calico bass. Pretty sweet. Nice. Pretty cool. Calico. Nice. It's probably, that's probably legal size, but we're gonna throw them back. These guys take a long time to sexually mature and reproduce. <laughs> All right, so I got down here probably about eight o'clock in the morning. And so far, pretty good day. Link cod, calico bass, and a keeper halibut, which is pretty sick. To fillet this fish up. And first thing I do pretty much any time before I fillet a fish, fillet knife, sharpening stone. Have a nice fresh knife anytime you're gonna go start filleting fish. Um, really makes things so much easier and you get a lot better piece of fish at the end of the day. This right here, this Shimano current sniper, that's what I got the halibut on. So we're gonna keep this in our box and try that more in the future, like that lure. So. I actually got the calico bass and the link cod on that one as well. But, uh, all right, time to start filleting this fish as soon as I sharpen this knife. Down the spine, find the spine, then just whittle your knife in there along those rib bones, peeling back the meat from the rib bones a little bit at a time. I just try to lay my knife flat on those rib bones and then just cut the meat back little by little until it folds over and then I'll make one cut against the fins once it's laid over, like you see there. Uh, of course, you wanna avoid that gut sack like you would with any fish. The back side or the bottom side of the halibut is no different. One cut down the spine and use those rib bones as your guide again. Really easy fish to fillet, even though it's a little different than some other fish. I like to set the fillets aside and do them all at the end, keeping my knife nice and flat against the cutting surface and just peeling it back a little at a time. Again, a, a nice sharp knife really helps in this process. And halibut, they can be a little slippery, so sometimes a glove is helpful when you're doing this. What's up? Doing dinner tonight. We've got the halibut from earlier today. Have a nice little mojito, chopping potatoes for some mashed potatoes to go along with that. And then we're gonna have a little Caesar salad. So I'm gonna do halibut super simple, just little garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt and pepper, seared in a pan with a butter sauce, and it's gonna be really good. So this is how I like to do it. Check it out. All right, so here it is. These are just, uh, this is just one of the top fillets off the halibut. So 
halibut usually gets flayed out in four pieces. So this is one, two, and then there's the bottom, three and four. Um, so we're just doing this tonight, two person dinner. Uh, seasoning number one, garlic powder, not too much. Seasoning number two, black pepper, a good amount. Paprika, not too much, and a little salt. So I'm just gonna lay that on this fish and then that's gonna go into a pretty hot frying pan that just has a little bit of olive oil in it. So that's it, easy. Garlic powder. Paprika. Oh no. Damn. It's okay. Mix it in a little bit. Black pepper. And I'm always extra careful with the salt. I just like to put it in my hand and then kind of sprinkle it on there. That's it. I'll just do the other side. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Okay. Nice little flip here. Should be nice and seared on the one side. Nice. And now I'm going to take this minced garlic and butter and just kind of toss a little bit of that on there. A little bit of chives on there, just for a little color, a little potatoes too, and that's it. That's uh, two nice plates of halibut dinner, ready to go. There's the one, and there's number two. Halibut caught today, right from the water to the kitchen table.